We, we were the first clinic in the world outside of Japan to start using the Muse stem cells and talking about it publicly. So basically the main difference is they're what's called pluripotent, which means they can turn into any cell in your body, heart, liver, brain, organs, and they're non-cancerous. So that's very unique because most pluripotent stem cells have the risk of tumors. So this does not have that risk. And then the other amazing thing about the Muse cells is they're what's called stress enduring. So that's what SC stands for, meaning they can survive in harsh environments. So they don't die as easily. And then they also have what's called a homing mechanism, which is really cool. So when you do an IV, they can go from the lungs and the heart and they can go all over your body. You don't get trapped in the lungs as easily as uh, old stem cells. Like what kind of like medicine or therapy is involved for the treatment? Well, it's very simple. That's the good thing about the Muse stem cells. It could just be an IV for longevity and anti-aging and the Muse cells find their way to the different problems. So you don't have to inject them directly into the heart or, or brain, for example. You can just do an IV and they have a reprogramming effect on your body and you can see the aging being significantly reduced with the IV of the Muse stem cells. So I'm pretty confident we don't have the data on humans yet, but I think the Muse cells, when, if we don't know the, you know, if we were able to dose them that frequently, like I'll say every couple of weeks or every month, you know, maybe eventually when the costs come down, I think you could actually see significant reversal of aging just with mu cells because they're pluripotent stem cells, right?